Hi everyone. Did you miss me? I missed you guys. I have not vlogged in a few weeks. I have missed it terribly. I haven't put any videos up. I've recorded videos, but I haven't done anything. And today, that stops. Because I miss it too much. I enjoy it too much. But it is Monday and Mike is working. My Kayla is away. She went away with our neighbors camping for four days. I got the little bit of the blues. Um, we lost a friend over the weekend, 47, and um, he uh, died suddenly of a heart attack. And uh, so I have been very teary and I had a rough morning. I had a, I had a real rough morning this morning, but um, he was one heck of a friend. Anyway, um, so I don't start crying, we gotta move on. Um, we had a birthday celebration over the weekend for me. Um, every year for my birthday, we usually do like a lobster um, clam type dinner. So we had lobster and we had clams and it was delicious. I loved it. There's a little bit of lobster left over that Mike and I are gonna share uh, for dinner tonight and then whatever else I make. Um, for my other girls, of course, I don't have to worry about Kayla because she's having fun camping in Pennsylvania. Um, Dylan, stop barking. It's getting warm out here. I hate this time of year where you can't really sit out. I can't sit out on this deck too much because it's like full sun and it gets so hot. We don't get much spring. We can only get a few days of spring and then it changes over. But anyway, um, my garden is doing wonderful. I'm getting cucumbers like crazy. I have to make a video on, and I have to make um, some of my mason jar pickles. I do a jar at a time. And um, we actually had new cucumbers this year too. We got the round ones. They're called lemon cucumbers. I think that's what they were. And they're shaped um, round oval like a lemon. And apparently they, they taste the same. They're just a different shape. So we might make pickles with those too. But it's getting to the point now where I get I got one or two and then I was like oh, okay I'll make pickles and then the next day I came and then on the counter there's like 20 <laughs> you get them all at the same time so we've been giving some away and we've been making some pickles and um, that's it we haven't gotten any tomatoes um, I've got a little bit of um, you know I use my kale and I use that my herbs and stuff like that but nothing major out of the garden just basically cucumbers at this point my peppers are still little and I think we have quite a while for the tomatoes to uh, start turning color and being able to use them I have a bunch of videos recorded for you guys I just have to edit them and get them up I've done Dollar Tree I've done Aldi's and I've done BJ's um, I've just been lazy with getting them up, but like I said, that stops today. Crack the whip, Missy. I've done a lot of thinking and planning and researching, and I'm going to keep doing my vlogs, but I'm going to do um, some cleaning videos. I'm going to do some how-to videos. I'm going to do probably a live video once a week and question and answer videos, and we'll see how that goes, see what you guys like. Um, I enjoy doing the live, so we'll just have to advertise it, figure out what day we're going to do it, and then advertise it so that you guys know that we'll be here and you can chat with us. So I had a great birthday. We went to um, the Cracker Barrel with friends of ours uh, for dinner, and then they came back for cake. Just simple. When my kids spoil me on my birthday. They always, uh, you know, clean up and make me special things and... Um, gifts. I'm very spoiled and I'm very blessed. That's my deal. Right, deal? That's my boy. Is that my boy? That's my good boy. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Dill. Dilly. You gonna talk? <coughs> oh, don't bark. Don't bark. <laughs> Don't bark. Um, Hannah to see what's going on. Dylan and Hannah. 
Brother and sister. Stop barking. No. No, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Ooh, you got your claws on the couch. Daddy's gonna yell. Be nice to your sister. <laughs> My two puppies. <coughs> Nat. No barking. Anyway, so I didn't get much sleep the past few days. Um, when we lost our friend, it happened during the middle of the night and um, got phone calls and that did me in. So I was kind of out of it all day yesterday. And uh, we're back today. I went back to work today and Mike's working today and I'm trying to figure out what's for dinner to go with my lobster. I might just make a little tiny side of spaghetti or something because I know that Kelly and Katie will eat that. So, uh, so I've been working on my food pantry um, thanks to Kimmy and she's in her apron. Um, I have always had a, a food pantry. My husband, being self-employed, doesn't work in the winter. And I always stocked up. I mean, I don't want to buy anything in the winter time. I don't want to have to buy toilet paper or paper towels or whatever. So when stuff's on sale, I buy it. And then I shop for my pantry. Um, I have been stocking up on some sales that have been out this week. So um, my pantry is looking pretty good. I mean, it's not where I want it to be, but it's looking pretty good. So I think I pretty much have the stuff that I use. Um, I have a few of each and then some things that were really on sale, I've stocked up for six months and uh, they all have good expiration dates and, and um, it just makes me feel so good that I don't pay full price. I have to get my butt back down to the beach in the evenings because um, I want to start collecting shells. I want to do something with shells. I either want to cover a mirror frame or a, or a vase or something. I just want to do that. But I could buy the shells very easily on eBay or Etsy, I'm sure. But it, I think it means more when you collect them yourself. So for right now, I'm just putting them in a mason jar because I think they're pretty. And um, we'll see how that goes. So I put something on my Facebook the other day and everybody thought it was hysterical. And I copied it from somebody else. But um, it basically said, raising teenagers is exactly like being pecked to death by a chicken. I think they're right. <laughs> okay, see these well beginning green tea and cucumber wipes. They have aloe and vitamin E, hypoallergenic, uh, 64 wipes. I'm trying to think of the price. I think. I bought them, they were like two for five dollars. And I've seen them on sale probably for cheaper than that. We use them um, for removing makeup. Um, they work wonderful. They smell so good. They're like a cooling, refreshing. I actually give a pack to my husband to keep in his, in his truck. Um, he's a landscaper and it's hot and it's nasty. And sometimes he just wants to wipe his face clean in the truck. And he just, he said, just the smell and just being able to wipe his face clean, he said it's re like such a refreshing feeling. So um, we've been using these to take off makeup. Now, sometimes you might need a tiny bit of something for mascara, but it works wonders for taking off your makeup. And it's so much cheaper than makeup wipes. I use um, the Pond's cold cream, the blue lid for taking off my mascara, um, which works wonders. And if you get it in your eyes, it doesn't burn. So sometimes I'll put a little bit of that on one of these just to get my mascara off. But the rest of the makeup on my face, um, I use these wipes and they work great. I love them. I'm gonna keep an eye and stock up when they're on sale again. And there's Miss Rose. Hi, Rosie. You got something to say? What do you say, Miss Rose? You got a lot of fans on YouTube. You got a lot of fans on YouTube, Miss Rose. Rosie. She's just a little king. Rosie. Hi. So Dylan says, I'll be on YouTube. <coughs> One of the things I got for my birthday is an Amazon Echo. Alexa. Remind me in 40 minutes to switch the laundry. 
Okay, I'll remind you in 40 minutes. Pretty cool. She keeps on top of things. She keeps me, she keeps me on top of it. Still learning, I still have a lot to learn, but I use her for reminders. I use her for grocery lists. Um, Alexa, add horseradish to my shopping list. I've added horseradish to your shopping list. Now that goes right to my cell phone. I click on my shopping list and it's there. So if my hands are cooking uh, food or washing dishes or cutting onions, all I have to do is call her name and she'll add it to my list. She'll add things to my calendar. She'll tell me what the weather is. Um, there's so many, many, many things that she does that I have no idea yet, but this was my birthday present and I love her. She's my new assistant. I wish she could cook. Alexa, what's for dinner? Pizza is always a good answer, but don't forget your vegetables. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, this is Pete and Elda's Carmen's Pizza. They're famous in um, down by the shore in uh, Neptune City, New Jersey. And they're famous for their whole pie eaters club. Their pizza is really paper thin. I don't care for it. It's okay. I'll eat it if it's in front of me, but I don't crave it. I wouldn't go there specifically to buy their pizza. My husband, on the other hand, loves it. So him and his friend went a few weeks ago, and they they ordered the whole pie uh, t-shirt pizza. And obviously, he ate the whole pizza because he got his free t-shirt. And uh, I think I believe his friend also got one. But I can tell you right now that this will hang in his closet forever because he doesn't want anybody in the world to know that he ate an entire pizza by himself. <laughs> Although it's actually pretty easy. Like I said, it's so thin. It's uh, probably three pieces or the, the, the equivalent to a regular slice of pizza. But this is his new whole pie eating club shirt. I'm going to hang it in the closet. It'll be there for years. Okay, so my husband came home from work and I gave him a haircut. He doesn't like hair in the summertime. He likes it to be short. So I gave him a haircut and he took a shower and I very well could have taken a nap, but he drug me out. He wanted to get out for a little bit. So I've been telling him uh, it's not the same without Kayla being home and I mentioned earlier that we lost a friend over the weekend, so it's just been kind of a, a blue day. There's no sunshine, it's cloudy, and it's hot. I hate hot weather. Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, and then um, when I was cutting his hair, the radio was saying the humidity's gonna get really bad, like close to 100, right? Yeah. Um, the temperature's gonna be close to 100, and the humidity's gonna be really bad, so I feel really bad for him having to work in that. <clears throat> I wish he had a portable air conditioner, a portable air conditioned shirt that you can wear. I got it in my truck. In your truck got, or in your trunk? I got the air conditioner in the truck. That's oh, the oh. I, I was going to say you don't have a trunk, you have a pickup truck. <laughs> it's starting to rain. I asked the weather if it was going to rain and it said no. We're just in some spots. Spots. It would be nice if it rained and got really cool and we could sleep with the windows open tonight. That would be wonderful, but that's wishful thinking. That's not going to happen. That's what's nice about the fall. Yeah, but winter comes after fall and I, like the I don't like winter in New Jersey. So I got um, some pictures from our friends that have Kayla and apparently she's having a ball which makes me feel a little bit better even though i still miss her very very much um she was in a lake and uh, she had a net and she was trying to catch frogs <laughs> i can't believe that my daughter's trying to catch frogs like uh what are you gonna do with them when you catch them i'm sure she would never do anything to hurt them or i guess she just wanted to hold one or whatever and but so she's having fun so I get pictures every once in a while. So hey everyone, it is I think about seven o'clock and finished up dinner. Um, 
my husband went in to watch TV for the night and um, my girls uh, went for a ride. They want me to go, but I'm like a homebody. I just, I like being home. I don't want to go for a ride. <laughs> Mike and I went out earlier, so I'm done. Um, I have a little bit of laundry to do, and I really want to um, get my YouTube videos straightened out and scheduled for the week. I got to do some editing, and that's about it. It's beautiful out here. It's not really too hot at all, and I'm enjoying the sunshine on my face, my favorite thing. Everything, all my plants are drying out. Everything in pots, I've noticed. I'm constantly having to water, so I think some of the things that I have in pots, probably next year, I need to put in um, the ground because uh, this, there's not enough soil and it dries out so quick and sometimes I have to water the plants out here on the deck that are in the pots twice a day because they just dry out so quickly. But tomorrow is Tuesday. Um, I plan on cleaning and laundry and organizing and YouTube. So. Well, my friends, that's it for today. Short and sweet. I will be back tomorrow. Um, probably not with a vlog. I'm probably going to upload um, one of my recent shopping hauls, but I will see you soon. And uh, chit chat with me in the comments. I love to keep in touch with you all. And I've missed you, and I'm glad I'm back. Have a good day. Take care.